more trouble for George Zimmerman. Another violent encounter, this time Zimmerman injured when a man he's clashed with in the past shot at his car. ABC's Lindsay Davis is in Lake Mary, Florida with the latest. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, George. Since his acquittal back in July of 2013, Zimmerman has been back in the headlines several times for various run-ins with the law, but this time it ended with a man shooting at him, sending Zimmerman to the hospital. This morning, the man who shot at George Zimmerman Monday, leaving this bullet hole in his SUV, offering up an explanation through his lawyer, and it's one Zimmerman is familiar with. He was acting in self-defense. He is 36-year-old Matt Apperson, seen here outside police headquarters on Monday, just after he opened fire at Zimmerman's Honda SUV at a Lake Mary, Florida intersection. While Zimmerman, hit only by shattered glass, flagged down a police officer nearby, Apperson reportedly stayed at the scene and explained why he pulled the trigger. I heard him say, you know, I'm Matt Apperson. This has been an ongoing dispute. This is the third incident. I saw a gun, and so I shot George Zimmerman. But Zimmerman's attorney attorney denies he ever pulled a gun out of his glove box. He never pulled it, displayed it, pointed it, did, made any aggressive move towards this fellow. Since the Trayvon Martin trial, in which he was acquitted, Zimmerman has had a number of brushes with the law. In 2013, his estranged wife calling 911. Oh my God, I don't know what he's capable of. I'm really, really scared. She claims he'd threatened her with a gun. Two months after that, Zimmerman was arrested after a girlfriend said he'd assaulted her. No charges were filed in that case either. Police say Zimmerman and Apperson do have a history of run-ins. Last September, police say Apperson called 911 after Zimmerman pulled up in a truck and began yelling at him. Apperson claimed Zimmerman was carrying a gun and yelled, Do you know who I am? before threatening to kill him. This police video shows officers questioning Zimmerman after the alleged incident. Two days later, Apperson claimed Zimmerman showed up outside his office. Apperson called police, but did not press charges. Both men have two totally different accounts of what led up to all of this. No charges have been filed. It's still early on in the police investigation. Robin. Okay, Lindsay, thank you.